to a dramatic development in the crisis threatening the future of the BBC. Tonight, the youngster at the heart of the broadcaster's sex pics scandal has claimed allegations made by their mother are rubbish. A letter from their lawyer to the corporation says the young person disputes that an unnamed star paid them tens of thousands of pounds for sexually explicit photos. The lawyers say nothing inappropriate or unlawful has taken place. It comes as police insist they're not yet investigating the presenter after officers discussed the case with BBC bosses today. Now, the mystery star has now been suspended almost two months after a complaint was first made. He's accused of paying more than £35,000 to the young person since they were 17, which they allegedly used to fund a crack cocaine addiction. Now, the Sun newspaper that broke the story has hit back, arguing it's seen evidence that supports the parents' concerns and their complaint to the BBC was not acted upon. And in the past hour, the parents say they stand by their allegations and questioned who had paid to provide their child with an expensive lawyer. Now, this is such a tricky story for us to talk about, but we're going to talk about it anyway, because <laughs> there's very, you know, there are certain things we, we cannot speak about, such as the nature of these kind of allegations. But understandably, it's captured the nation because, you know, it's as... The Sun have reported it's a, a high-profile BBC star and we are very interested in the way, particularly following the ITV scandal, the way in which big corporations deal with complaints or don't deal with complaints like this. But Kevin, you're a Fleet Street pro. How do you... Legendary. Well, what's <laughs> legendary on the scene? What's your take on how this particular story has been reported? Well... I mean, hitherto, I, I thought it had been reported impeccably and The Sun had done a very good job, and I, I suspect that that still is the case. Mm. Uh, now, when this lawyer for this uh, young person, the alleged victim, comes up and says, the, 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 the mother's story is rubbish. It's rubbish. Well, what is the mother saying? The mother is saying that on May the 19th, seven weeks ago, I went to the BBC to report serious concerns of the way one of their biggest male stars was behaving with my child. Uh, and uh, I went to The Sun six and a half weeks later because the BBC had done nothing. Mm. Nothing. That's her allegation. If that's the case, then this is still a very, very serious situation for the uh, male celebrity involved. Also, uh, I think it uh, hinges now one of the aspects of the story hinges on legality. Was the law broken? Uh, I think I'm right in saying there's no illegality involved if a rich old guy gives a younger person money for sex pictures, as long as they're over 18. Mm -hmm. If these transactions started when the kid was 17, then that's criminal. The police will get involved. If they started when it was 18, I still would suggest that this male star doesn't have left long left on screen because this is inappropriate Repu behaviour. Reputation. It's inappropriate behaviour. But, but innocent until proven yes. guilty. And I think what's interesting is that over the weekend, in all the reporting, I don't recall any suggestion that there was a difference of opinion between the young person and the parents. Mm. And my question is, should the son have reported that they had received a message from the young person saying that actually they disputed the allegation? I think that's a really important point. The son has to answer this. Mm. Now, they, I think, as I understand, they will say they're just reporting what the parents what? said, mm. but were they not being a bit disingenuous and shortchanging the story if they had, in fact, received a denial from that young person? Question. That's what the young guy is saying. Uh, That's what the they're saying person. today. Yes, the person, yeah. So I guess the son needs to answer, did they receive that denial at the back end of last week? And in which case, why didn't they tell everybody about it? I would... I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I would suggest, knowing journalists, full stop. The son has some of the best journalists in the world. Whether you like the paper or not, it has some of the greatest journalists in, in the country. They would have done their due diligence and they would not have printed this story without thinking that actually oh. this story stands up. That, that's what I'd suggest, but obviously I don't know the ins and outs of it. Interesting, though, with this... Were you saying they're coming about the pictures? If the, if the person was 
under 18 or above 16. I didn't know that was illegal. Yeah. I just presumed Seven, if you can have 74, sex... 74, though. 1974 is when, it che is when that law came in. Mm -hmm. Which seems so, bizarre. Well, I so presume you can have sex at in... age 16, but you can't send pictures uh, of yourself... It's a difference between something being private and public, um, you know, photographs. Yeah. That, that, that ultimately is what it is, and particularly when we live in an age of social media where uh, it can be so quick for yeah. a single photograph to then live in yeah. etern for eternity. Yeah, but you're saying this came in 1974. 1974. It did, yeah, well, yeah. Media then. So why, 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 no, was, that, why it, was that the law? It came in bec because those photos were being distributed. So sex between two people is a private act that would take place in private, whereas if a sexual mm. photograph was taken, that could be then distributed around. So Even more so now with social media, but again in 1974 yeah. was the case. Here's another thing that surprises me or, or I find intriguing. Uh, not a word from anyone until suddenly about a couple of hours ago, this vehement denial uh, from the young person involved, uh, you know, with the backing of an expensive lawyer. Mm. That seems kind of strange but as well. Why, why no activity since Well, Saturday? because, but, but then you don't know what's going on behind the scenes and whether there no. was, the, whether there were Got lots an idea. of... Well, no, but I'm just saying <laughs> well, that there may have been lots came of... forward on the, Friday. The, and, and, and also there may have been conversations going on and then uh, uh, trying to make sure that everything, uh, base, bases were covered. How is this young uh, person paying for a lawyer? I can't people, afford a lawyer. I have a lawyer that works no win, no fee. People can work pro bono for cases that they feel passionately mm. about. It happens all the time. Yeah, I think yeah. it's suspicious. Who feels passionate <laughs> about this? <laughs> anyway, the star <laughs> at the centre of the scandal is understood to be under massive pressure from fellow broadcasters to resign. Household names including Gary Lineker, Jeremy Vine and Rylan Clark have felt compelled to publicly rule themselves out after social media users wrongly speculated they were the star in question. Others have been forced to clarify they are currently on holiday and not suspended. Meanwhile, reverberations are being felt in Westminster where a cabinet minister has suggested the presenter should only be named once a full investigation has taken place. While Alex Chalk agreed there was a public interest in the broadcaster being revealed, he claimed it would not be appropriate to do so immediately or until after the investigation had closed. The Justice Secretary described the allegations as very serious and very concerning but added there was also a public interest in ensuring that people are not defamed. It is a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. Far be it for me to be sympathetic with the BBC, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to be. <laughs> uh, they have an obligation to their employee. Uh, and it w the easiest thing for them to have done over the weekend would have been to reveal who he was, to take the pressure off themselves. But they have legal obligations. They can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Alex Chalk can say what he likes. He's irrelevant. Uh, I, I, th th there, arguably, there's a case, given what's happened, for a newspaper to say, well, this is who it is. This is the person at the centre of this storm. I, I, I think that's legally doable, but as things stand, uh, he remains uh, anonymous, and these other stars, as, as we just reported, are getting more and more furious with the BBC, saying, clear the air, for God's sake, and if you can't do it, persuade this but what about person. The other one? Has anyone it? actually come out and said that about the BBC? Lots of people no. have come forward to say, it's not me, but I'm not aware as yet, I could be wrong, about any particular individual who said, I want no, the no, BBC no, but, to... But, but the, no. the word is that they are furious, and if, okay. if I was a male star at the BBC, I wouldn't be that happy. But you know right what? Now. You could do it the other way because the, the, this is mostly about um, social media, where these other people are being named and, it, and, yeah. and pointed at. And well, I mean, there are there, there is another way of looking at this, which is to say that anybody with a certain amount of followers who has said the name of somebody who is not actually goes to get, gets taken to court mm. and said, you know, because the problem is that. You know, whenever we have something like this and there's these kind of hideous pylons uh, of sort of, you know, people saying it must be them because of, you know, whatever, and people get defamed. Mm -hmm. And it is, these are game-changing uh, allegations. Yeah. And you are talking about destroying careers if you are talking about something and then it ends up being stuck into people's heads about the fact that one particular person. So, I mean, if I was any of those people, I would be saying, I would be actually yeah. going and checking yeah. on Twitter or, or, or anything else, whatever whatever they are, and I'd, get, I'd be going, right, we're taking you down and we're taking you down and we're taking you down and then that way in the future, <laughs> well, no, but how else do you deal with it, for goodness sake? Because this, this is, happens all the time. But it's because there was so... <laughs> 
normally, um, if a person was named, what you'd, you'd normally get like a male and the age of mm. the person, which doesn't really narrow it down. Whereas this time we've got so many details that there was a very short list very of people. List, so it's quite, yeah. a, it's quite a unique case in that sense. And not everybody who owns a Twitter page or a profile account. is trained in media law. Exactly right. They don't know what they're, they're not, doing. But, 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 but that doesn't give you any excuse. And, you know, you can go around it defaming doesn't. and slandering people and you go, oh, I didn't know. That's but no whoever's, excuse in whoever's the law. reporting on it, I think, has more of a responsibility nowadays than they, they used to, in, to not do that. But then at the same time, I understand there's lots of whistleblowing practice that does go on. Um, that I would hate to see completely shut down as a result. Now, I don't think anybody should be defamed. However, it is also a way by which genuinely, genuine monsters yeah. are named publicly because multiple people come forward. But obviously, you're innocent until proven mm. guilty. In the eyes of that's the law. really important. Yeah. But also, that's just a fact. I mean, you know... And no, it's is... in the eyes of the law. You're not innocent. You're no, innocent but, 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 if you're but, innocent. You're guilty if you're guilty. No, but, but hang on. Uh, if if the presenter actually is... is uh, who, yeah. uh, as we understand, is denying... Uh, yeah. these allegations, you know, if it came out, that person's name, then, I mean, that would destroy their career. Yes. And what if all these allegations yeah. actually are untrue and the denial is fair? Mm -hmm. And you might think it's inappropriate yeah. with, it, with, another young, with yeah. a young person. But, but it's not illegal. But it's not illegal. Uh, should that person's career be destroyed by a witch hunt? Yeah. Well, it, it, if it is, it's going to have... Uh, certain similar similarities to the Philip Schofield situation. Massive similarities. Uh, um, mm. but, uh, but one of the biggest complaints, Kevin, is the way the corporation, whether it was ITV with Philip Schofield yeah. or the BBC, the delays in which they've dealt with yeah. this. Yeah. They've well, always been on the back yeah. foot. Yeah. And in a sense, if they'd got on the front foot with this, then the other stars wouldn't have had their issues. Yeah. The staff who are sort yeah. of reportedly steaming mad with the way this has been handled wouldn't have had... Uh, you know, such complaints, such concerns. So you've got to be on the front foot. You've got to have yeah. a reputation management process yeah. up front to but deal so with it. So it's technically Jake... possible that this person uh, is innocent of the allegations against him, but the BBC could still be in very big trouble about this because they didn't do anything for seven weeks. That's the essence mm. of the mother's complaint. And if the BBC dragged their heels on this, it's going to be another Jimmy Savile, another Martin Bashir, when they've just kept quiet, tried to keep things secret and hope they'd blow over. Mm. You wish one day that the BBC would learn its lesson.